right guys look at my jama jama this is the boya jama jama it's ready for harvest it's ready for the very first harvest i transplanted in jama jama maybe two weeks ago i want to say two weeks ago started the seeds about six weeks ago it took about um eight days to germinate and then three weeks after that i transplanted and look at what we have so see this is the big leaf jaban jaba look at how thick the stems are very thick stems very broad leaves look at that leaf see how broad it is so it's ready for harvesting yeah guys this is this is your boy and jaban jama super green all organic i did not use any chemical fertilizers it was cow manure and then i also used some fish fish um fish emulsion fertilizer i'll show you what i use to get the jams to look this green i do have a pair of uh, what you call this clip tweezers i don't know what you call but i do have i do have a pair Cutting it really, really low. I'm done harvesting that one. Look, see how low I cut the stems. The new shoots are gonna come out of, out of the nodes, out of here, and then out of here, and then out of there. See all the water leaves that I did not plant coming up. This is from last year. Okay do the second bed this bed is bigger than this one slightly bigger guys if you were to pay for this njama njama right here of this bed how much would you pay let me know let me know how much you would pay to harvest this njams right here oh my goodness okay let's get harvesting Jama Jama? Probably. Yes? I said probably. Probably. Did you put that in fufu -fu and stuff? Yeah. We the least are the other one. We've been doing this exercise. You guys forget the moment we stop the exercise. My bad. Everybody's gonna eat this one. Okay. Oh, greens. Got the last few ones. Where's my basket? Don't know. Day. Buy one, take two. 
you just know this is gonna go to nourish your body all right guys so this is what i was able to harvest oh my goodness lots and lots of jama jama this is the boyan jama jama the broad leaf jama jama as you can see so the stems are very thick the leaves are broad and it grows tall like this so these are relatively easier to process so what i'm going to do next is pick the leaves like so i'm probably gonna use a pair of scissors to just cut the leaves like this and if you want you can peel the stems i use but i'm not going to do that so this is the next step is to pick the leaves from the stems okay so i have to do that for all of it and then wash it and probably cut it up into smaller pieces so then jama jama tends to stain your fingers when you're processing if you don't want that to happen you can wear a pair of gloves or you can use something like this to cut the stems with I'm just picking the leaves from the stems and then the part that is tender here so this one is tough you put this one and then this is what it's going to be jam soup finally done it's almost 8 30 at night so those are the stems and this is in jam soup ready to wash and cut up 